Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have another declutter video for you all and it is face masks. We have got a lot to get through today. These are just all sorts of masks like clay masks, anything that's in a tub or a tube that isn't a sheet mask is in this box and it is really really heavy. I'm sure we've got lots that I can get rid of today with this. Um, yeah, so I cannot wait to get stuck into that. Before we get on with this, I just want to say thank you for all your comments again. You've just been amazing. I'm loving reading them. And it's also brilliant to see that so many of you are decluttering with me. Um, so that is, that's brilliant. This is kind of what it's for. It helps me sort through, but it's also to remind you about things that you've got in your collection that you either need to use or just get rid of. So I'm really glad that it's helping lots of you sort out your stash as well. So let's get on with this. I'm absolutely boiling. The sun has come out. Why is it so warm? I've just bought all my cozy autumn snuggly wares and now I am absolutely roasting. I'm going to open the window. Let's turn around, get on with this and then um, I'm going to pop a t-shirt on the thing. Let's go. It's the usual box setup you'll all be familiar with by now. So this box is to keep. This one is for the bin. This one is for friends and family. And this one are unopened products that I can either sell or put into giveaways. And that's what we're doing. Okay, let me just get my coffee. I need a quick slurp. And let's crack on. So the first thing has actually been sent to me to review. So I need to keep this. And this is by Alia Skin. And it is an Australian pink clay mask. And this is cruelty free. You've got your little bunny there. So... I'll let you know a bit more about this once I've tried it. Okay, so that's one. <laughs> now this, I know I've had for ages and I've used it and it's been open for ooh, a couple of years, I reckon. Mm. Right, oh, 24 months so from opening, so that's not too bad. But I reckon it must be about there. Oh, I think it's gone a bit, but it's virtually finished. It was actually a really nice mask. What was it? It was an essential oil elixir. Honestly, it was gorgeous. Let me just show you inside. Oh, it smells, it smells not bad actually still. It was a bit like a jelly, but it, that definitely needs to go. It's finished, isn't it really? Um, but it was a nice mask. Next one, I don't think I've used this yet and it's by Amoravicha. And I think, is this a clay mask? It's a mud mask. six months from opening. I don't think I've opened it. Let's have a look. Look at the inside. That's great. Oh, I remember this packaging now. So it's just a little mask here. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure that I did open that when we got it and it looks, hmm, I'm going to have to get rid of it. So I have opened it. It is a while, so I'm going to declutter it. Best to be safe, especially when you're putting masks on your face. You don't want to be burning your skin or anything. Oh, this one was lovely as well. This was a fresh vitamin nectar, vibrancy boosting face mask. It was really sticky. I know this is going to have to go in the bin. I just know it. How long do you keep it open? Does it say? Nah, nah. 12 months. It's definitely more than 12 months. Let me just open it for you. This was so nice. It kind of had like little bits of fruit in it. <laughs> it doesn't look very appealing. It was a bit like putting like apricot jam on your face, but it was absolutely gorgeous. It was a right sticky mess, but I did enjoy it. But that is for the bin. Oh, this one's going well. I'm making way. Bin. Okay. Next thing, this is a peeling mask by eCooking. I haven't used it and it does say, don't panic, it turns skin red. It works, add moisturiser, but I think a lot of people have had some nasty reactions to it and they just didn't like it, but it oh, this is why, look. It's got glycolic acid, salicylic acid. So it is a, a peel, isn't it? Hmm. Let me see. I just 
that's it in there but we've had it a while and to be honest i'm going to throw it just because i don't want to make my face pink and i know if it's meant to make you peel it's meant to make you peel but it has been open for a while and nobody seems to like it so it's gone next is this this is a rodile vitamin c brightening mask it's nice i've used it i've opened it it says six months Ooh, from opening and it hasn't got a best before date on i'm trying to think if it's six months since i've opened it i don't think it is you know i don't think it is have we got another one no oh i have i've got another one at the back so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw that oh which is oh, which is which are any of them sealed oh god disaster Aha, that one's sealed, so I'm going to keep that one. Phew. Which means this one will be open. So we'll get rid of that and I'll keep the other. I can't remember. This is why I need to write the dates of when I open them. It is a nice mask, but because I've got a replacement and a backup, I'm getting rid. I have got two Australian pink clay masks, which... You kind of get in beauty boxes a lot. Do these have little dates on at all? Now there's no date on them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep one and compare it to that other pink clay mask, this one. Because this is a pink clay, isn't it? So I'm going to compare that to that, do a comparison video, I think. And the other one will pop into a giveaway. I haven't opened them. Um, now another one I've got two of. And it is the Madara SOS hydra mask i can't remember using these at all are they open first of oh that's open this one feels lighter actually right they're both kind of open but i honestly don't remember using them let's have a look at dates now it does say for dates see top and somebody kindly was trying to educate me yesterday about some of the way that the dates are written and so I'm going to have to guesstimate that these are 21 that they expire because that's the first number and I know some of them are written kind of like backwards and a bit strangely so if that's the case oh oh no look it's on this side what a ninny <laughs> so that one is was that 0220 focus 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 Oh, that's out of date. So I'd rather guess this one will be out of date as well. Yes, they're both out of date. Well, that took the mystery out of that one, didn't it? Next one, I've had this for ages. And it's an Ami Spring Clean Deep Cleansing Mask. Do you know what? It's so nice. It's really nice. But I've had it for ages. I had it in my other house. And I've been in this house two years. So let's see how long it says. 12 months. It needs to go. It needs to go. So, what a shame. This is actually a really affordable mask and it is a nice clear mask. And honestly, it does tighten your skin and it, it feels it makes it feel nice. So, if you want something that's affordable, that's a nice one. And this does come up on latest and beauty selections as well. Now, another one that I know I've had in the other house, so I tried doing things like that, was this. I think this is one of the first masks I got, probably in the U Beauty box. It's really heavy, actually. It's in a glass um tub but the, i know this needs to go out because i've had it for ages there's no way of seeing the date on there but it is 12 months and it, again it's like another clay mask mud mask type thing look and i have used a bit but it is well and truly past it oh wow this is such a good one i'm doing so well um now corez hydra bomb probiotic Super dose face mask. That sounds nice. With real Greek yogurt, anti pollution. Well, that sounds really. I've not used this. Six months from opening. I definitely haven't opened it. Are there any dates? Just a lot number. Okay. Even if it's not sealed, I'm keeping it because I know for a fact it is sealed. I know for a fact I hadn't used that one. So good. That looks nice. Something different to try. Next is um, an Elemis Peptide 4000 Flower Mask. 
haven't used this. Six months from opening. There's no date there. Now, isn't that funny? You'd expect Elemis to have a date on. I just would have thought they would. I'm assuming this one is also sealed. Yes. So I'm going to keep that. Got this in birch box we did get to choose between the two i remember generation clay i haven't tried this brightening purple clay mask ultraviolet no date cruelty free oh i'm going to start um from my next unboxings by the way i am going to start putting if they're cruelty free I've got, i'll put like a little um bunny in the bottom in like in a text bit on each on the screen when I unbox an item, so I'll say whether it's cruelty free or vegan. Is that something that's useful? I can find that out in the editing, so I may not always be able to verbalise it during the unboxing. However, when I'm editing it, I'll add it onto the screen for extra information. So let me know if that's something you want. But I think it'll be helpful for me as well moving forwards. And I might start popping like a little um, pink sticker on or something if it's cruelty free and a little green sticker if it's vegan. Um, I'm not too worried about vegan products myself personally but I think cruelty free is definitely something I need to start looking more into and educate myself anyway I'm keeping this um so yeah it's something I need to educate myself on a bit more now this again is an old mask I've had this a while I'm pretty sure Sukin and Sukin is quite a nice skincare brand actually super greens paraben free so a clay based mask so it's meant to have a healthy, glowy complexion, all skin types. So that's good. Let's see if we can see batch number expired. Oh, 2018. Oh my gosh. Have I even opened it? Oh, it has been opened. That's over two years. Oh, it's stuck. Uh, that's over two years expired. And it just shows you, it doesn't look. If I hadn't seen that day, I'd have been tempted to still use that. So thank God for the expiry date on that one. Next, I was gifted this one and it was by Hey Bird. This is actually a really nice mask. Um, it's like a clay mask, but it's green. And it's hemp. Cleanse and purify. I did enjoy it actually. But because I've got so many, I might pass this on to friends and family let me just have a little look here how long do you keep it open I can't see how long to keep that open so what I'm going to do I'm going to look back on my videos and see when I unboxed it and then I think a lot of the other ones are like about six months out so I'll do six months but I think it's more than six months to be honest mm. it's more than six months for sure yes Declutter. Oh, declutter. No, I'm going to put it here and I'm going to find out when I did it and then I will edit at the end and I'll say whether I've kept it or binned it. I'm keeping this already because it's the freaky baby mask. <laughs> it is the shake and shot. It's the rubber mask. It is the weirdest thing. I've seen a few people do it, but um, I was wanting to do it myself, but I thought I'd wait a while before because other people have done it and I just wanted it to sort of pass by I don't want us all to be uploading at the same time so I might do this very soon actually it looks hilarious it's by Dr Jart I'm looking to see if there is a use by date I can't see one don't drink we won't drink it don't worry yeah let's just put that in here I need to do that very soon I'm just trying to see if I've got similar masks now so I can sort of pen together no. so this one is by Lavera the detox effect mask okay I don't think I've used this one actually it's out is this out of date oh no it's expired what a shame I can't remember using that hmm oh well in the bin you go Gosh, clay masks, who knew that it could be so brutal? All right, we have a Falorga Miso Mask. An illuminating smooth radiance mask. This is definitely right up my street. I've had this fairly recently, I am sure of that. Let me just check. It's 
And I've got a seal on. I'm keeping it and I'm going to use it very soon. I think I'm going to do a little vlog a week and then um, I'll include that in that. I am definitely looking at doing sort of like skincare brands and then um, trying to do like the full brand for a week or two weeks. So, oh, interestingly, I've got another one. Hmm, is this one? I don't think the vloggers seal. Somebody told me that they don't put seals on. So, I have no clue. I'm going to keep it. And if I like it, I'll keep one to myself and then I'll put one, the other one, um, either into a giveaway or to a family member. Next is Origins. And I got this one in a little um, set. There's a few, you might have seen a few little um, Origins things um, in the same sort of the willow thing, whatever it is. And then I got a few of these in a little kit. So this is retexturizing mask with rose clay. There we go. I haven't used it. I know that much. See, now this is 24 months from opening. I don't understand. They're so varied, aren't they? Okay, so we'll keep that. I just feel like I can't really give too many masks away unless they're duplicates because I really want to try them because some are just incredible and they make such a difference to your skin. Neo Bay. I really like this brand actually. I've had a few things by them. This is a recovery mask. 12 months from opening. I haven't opened this. I do know that. Make sure it hasn't expired. Right, there's no date on that one, so we'll keep that. I've had this for ages. I think this was a birch box, I want to say. A wish mud mask. I think I'm going to be binning this already. There's no date on it. 12 months from opening. And I probably... Ugh, I'm just going to bin it. I know I've had it for years, I think. <laughs> I don't actually really know. Um, oh, Sanctuary Spa. A one minute daily glow mask. I can manage a minute. So that's a really quick video to do, isn't it? Just a little five mil sample. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really like um, Sanctuary Spa fragrances. I know I've not used this. So we'll keep that. Has it expired? No date on there. So we're keeping. This looks interesting, doesn't it? Pure Savvy, just a minute, brightening facial mask. I'm keen to try this. It's good for 12 months. I know I've not tried it yet. I suppose the thing is, is whether I try things when I first get them. Well, it is in a, a pump bottle, which is good. So as we know from previous videos, if it's in a pump, it's less likely to grow bacteria because you're not dipping your fingers in. So this looks nice. Once a week, apply to cleanse skin. It's good in the eye. Leave for, leave for a minute and then just rinse. Oh, I might need to start doing that on a particular, like on a Sunday or something. A brightening facial mask. It'll be interesting to see if that works. I want to do that as a video. Because these things that just claim that they make an effect after just such a short time on your skin, I'm really intrigued by them. So I'm definitely keeping that. I am going to be doing more skincare videos, you know, looking at products and how they work on my skin, you know. So, oh, there goes a tractor. <laughs> um, Madara Smart Anti-Pollution Charcoal and Mud. Target signs of ageing. Mm. I'm sorry for like the bizarre running commentary you have with my videos. I'm just getting a bit delirious. It expires. 09 2020 so i've basically got tomorrow to use it i've got one day left oh shall i do it tonight i'm sure i've not opened it it's still on the little box and everything here it is look should we do this tonight because i can't do it in a giveaway i'll give it to anybody and look it is still sealed right i'm not wasting that it is today it is the 29th of september I hereby promise to use this tonight. I'm going to sit it there, so I'll sit it right on the top so I'll remember. And then um, I'm going to use that tonight. And I'll put a little thing on my Instagram. Matisse. Oh, I had a beautiful serum by these. I got them in a, 
a box from latest in beauty i think it wasn't one of my normal selections i'm sure i think it was in one of the um collection boxes but this is an energizing mask a silky gel for face dull and stressed skins my face i feel it is quite dull so 12 months from opening i'm sure i haven't opened it there's no use by date i can see on the box we'll just check the actual product oh this looks nice why do i like i look at orange and i just think it's going to make my skin all glowy and beautiful no date keeping for sure oh i'm excited for that one family are doing very badly i think what i'll end up doing with these once i've tried them and reviewed them i'll end up passing them on to family i think that's what i'm going to do that unless it's something i absolutely adore and i'm keeping this because i've only just got it last month well this month is one of my selections from latest in beauty and it's by natural seberica and an instant glow again i'm all about trying to give it a radiance into my skin so i've definitely not opened this i'm excited to have it i am going to check the expiry date because latest in beauty can be little devils sometimes giving you things that are close to the end of the date oh and i like it there's um an information leaflet in there as well it feels really nice quality actually and is there anything on there ba -da -ba -da. let me see i need to inspect closely because i don't trust them no okay let you off latest in beauty i'm sorry um and it's still sealed i'm excited i should be beautiful and glowy after all of these it looks nice doesn't it it feels nice actually so i'm excited for that one now i've got a few glam glows coming up anyway first off i've got a couple of lms enzyme peels so i'm keen to do this because i'm all about now as i say glowy skin healthy skin we're getting older we need to help that skin turn over so peels are a good way to do it six months i have not opened these i know i haven't let me just check seal on one so that one can stay I think I'm more likely to use these, you know, than face masks. Oh, interestingly, that one has been opened, but I don't remember doing it. I bet you I've swatched that. Hmm. Six months. I think we only got them quite recently. I think I got it in my LMS box. And so, oh, I should maybe bin that one and keep the other one just in case it's a while. I'm going to throw that one because I literally cannot remember when I swatched it. So at least I've got one here still though. Right then, let's see what have we got here. This is a black mask. These are the like the ones that started off, you know, like the peel off masks and then <laughs> that made everybody cry. Oh, expired. Okay, in the bin. But I knew I was going to say I've had it for ages. Right then, Glam Glow. I know for a fact I've not tried any Glam Glow masks. Because whenever I look and pick them up, it always seems to be just before, well, it used to be just before I was going to be going away on holiday. And then they would say, don't go in bright sunlight or anything like that after you've used them. So it made me a bit nervous, so I'd never use them. Um, so that's 24 months from opening. The main thing will be if they've got dates on, which they don't. I wonder if these have seals on. Yeah, that one is sealed. So I'm going to put this in the giveaway. I might do a little, I'll see how many glam glows I've got. I might just do like a little mask giveaway actually. And um, this is Mud Masky and I'm interested to try a Mud Masky. I've got the Mud Masky Post Mask Serum, which is beautiful. Mud Mask is quite expensive. And I tried like a really weird like shampoo-y hair pre-shampoo treatment thing. And that was really nice as well. And I'm sure I've not even used this. It looks like it's sealed. It's sealed. So I'm going to keep that. Glam Glow again. And no dates. This one is a super mud clearing treatment. So, I mean, I don't really have like oily, congested skin. That one's sealed, as you can see. So we're going to pop that one 
in the giveaway box. Origins, a clear improvement. So active charcoal to clear pores. I don't have problems with that. 24 months from opening. There's no date stamped on that one. I might give that one to my um, son's partner, I think. She has beautiful skin though, but she might just want to use it on a T-zone. Um, Glam Glow Instamud. 60 second pore refining treatment. Mm, that sounds a bit better. Less likely to irritate you if it's that quick. And there's open for 24 months. No date. And it's still sealed. And then finally, I think this is pretty new i've just got this one actually yeah i think i got it in my i got a latest in beauty um times stellar beauty or something box i think it was in that and this looks nice doesn't it black rose cream mask instant youth smoothing plumping hydrating guaranteed to make you beautiful <laughs> um 12 months i have only just got it so i'm pretty sure i didn't even swatch it because i've stopped doing that now oh However, it is open, but I have only just got it. So even if I had opened it, it was this month. So we're all good. Right. I'm just going to count up. And I'll be back in a minute. Right. So I've counted all of these up and we had 39 to begin with, which is pretty um, good going, really. And I've now got 19 here. So these are what I'm keeping. So 19. So yes, it is still quite a lot, but it's... It's um, half of what I had. I've got two for friends and family. I'm going to find out about the date of this. This may end up going in the bin, but we'll see. And then I'm going to gift this one just to um, like family. And I've got these four little masks here, um, which are for giveaways. And then here we have 14 to go in the bin because they're all stinky and past the best. So these are the ones going in the bin so you will not see these i promise back on my shelves they are going 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 in the bin okay i'm going to turn you around and have a chat and then should have a little talk about a little mini giveaway right guys so that is my declutter of face masks and i think i have done jolly good i have got 20 out of my collection and I'm keeping 19, so that's amazing. Out of 39 products, only keeping 19. And a lot of those will end up getting passed on to friends and family as I have tried them and reviewed them and then moving them out of my collection because that's how it's going to be from now. She says so convincingly, but it really, really is. Um, there's two things there in the friends and family, but the, um, the hemp mask, that Australian one, the hay bud, this one, I do need to check about the date and things on that and that may end up going in the bin now what i didn't realize is i thought i had two sand and skies and i have but this one is the pink clay mask this is an exfoliator so i'm going to keep this and i'm going to pop it into my exfoliators and then we'll have a look at that when i do those okay so i'm going to put that in there for it to be decluttered but what i will do i had three things in a giveaway box and there are three little Glam Glow masks here, um, all different types. So uh, if you want, I'm going to just do a little mini random giveaway. So if you would like to win these, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and it's set to public so I can see you're a subscriber. Like this video and put a comment down below um, telling me a skincare beauty tip. That's all. And then a way of contacting you. So if you're on Instagram, just give me your Instagram name or an email or whatever. And I will pick a winner. What date? So today is Tuesday. So let's pick a winner a week on Sunday. That's what we'll do. And I'll do a quick video. So I'll leave it about 10, 11 days or so just to run. And um, yeah, just a little mini, mini giveaway. And then uh, we'll pop that there. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Oh, and there may be a few little extras, of course, because it's never going to be just three masks, is it? <laughs> so if you want to enter, just make sure. I'll pop everything down below. You have to be um, over 18 as well. 
and probably do you need to live in the UK to post those I'm not sure let's just say it's a UK giveaway for now and then my next giveaway I'll look into things for overseas and whatnot okay so thank you so much for watching take care i'm gonna go put my invisalign back in my poly teeth and i'll see you next time don't forget subscribe if you haven't thumbs up if you've enjoyed and leave a comment down below and i'll see you all again next time bye Mwah! bye bye <laughs>